Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to my Gorgeous Trailer Reaction for a movie that, I mean, I can't wait for. I'm a huge fan of the series. This is The Human Centipede full sequence or final sequence? Wh whatever. Th the Human Centipede 3. It's the third one. This is the Red Band trailer and I lied. I don't like the series because I don't, I never watched them really. I saw the first like... 30 minutes of Human Centipede 1, and then I got, kind of got bored. Not really with the movie, mostly because I watched it when I was like, not really in the mood to watch a movie, more in the mood to do pretty much anything else. So I was just like, I'll watch this later, and never did. So, and I never saw the second one, even though I've heard it's pretty gruesome and not in a good way. Uh, so here's the third one. It stars, I think, Eric Roberts, and uh, that, I guess that's it. Uh, here we go. If the biggest star you can get is Eric Roberts. You know, it's not probably going to be great. But here we go. Let's watch Human Centipede 3 Red Band the trailer. The following preview may be too disturbing for some audiences. Mm. Your discretion is advised. Yeah. Old school. <laughs> IFC Midnight. Oh, the shit. Annals of Horror. <laughs> annals. Get it? Because. Because. Yeah. It's almost too disgusting to describe. It's in a prison. Oh, a bunch of old shitty like jail asses. Isn't that the? Did you like these films? Isn't that the doctor from the first movie? It looks medically accurate to the most notorious movie franchise ever made. You insane! There he is. I was just about to say, where is he? Oh God! Eat, digest, repeat. Well, I'm not going to get so to an asshole, man. Oh, my God. Final series. This is exactly what America needs. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what am I supposed to say about that? It's... Motherfucker getting sewn to buttholes and then repeatedly getting sewn to buttholes. Mouth to butthole. It's like, it's like, uh, Requiem for a Dream, except it's not ass to ass. It's mouth to ass and then over and over again. And it's not really disturbing. It's more gross and retarded. Uh, <laughs> uh, this, uh, <sighs> this is, uh, I don't know. Uh, it looks cheesy as hell. It looks like it's gonna be... Silly. I, it looks like it's going more for a grindhouse feel, which I guess the first two were kind of like that. But this one looks like it's going straight up like Quentin Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, trying to sandwich itself in between those two movies. Or it's trying to be one of those older grindhouse films. But I feel like it's trying to be more tongue-in-cheek, which a lot of the older grindhouse movies really aren't. They're trying to be horror movies, and they failed, but they're fun to watch, um, because they're so violent and all that. And some of them are actually great movies, like some of the older grindhouse films. But, um, this movie, I don't know. I, I don't, I, you, you saw a lot of prisoners going, oh, damn, and then they're so butt-to-mouth, and I don't know, that's all it showed, and it showed some random actors here and there, I, it, it looks like the same shit, except now the human centipede, it looks like it's going to be like 200 people, 200 prisoners, ass to mouth. Most likely, it's going to be CG, so it's not even probably going to be that impressive. There's no way they got 200 people. If they did, those 200 people are not going anywhere with their careers, because <laughs> they're all so ass to mouth. But, um, I don't know, it looks bad. 4 out of 10, I don't know. Uh, it didn't interest me in the least. Uh, that's it. Sorry. We're going to bring this review down on such a sad ending. But <laughs> is this okay? Uh, 4 out of 10. Screw it. I don't care. Fuck this. 